YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Pop Shavakadu, and on this video, let's go ahead and talk about Comic Con. So, as of right now, you guys, Comic Con is postponed until 2022. There is going to be an online convention this upcoming July and a small convention this upcoming November. So, to pay homage to Comic Con, we're going to go ahead and do some previous releases on a awesome mascot of Toucan. So to kick off this review, you guys, if you were there in 2019, it was Comic-Con's 50th year anniversary. They would have given you this awesome booklet. And of course, in this booklet, you have the uh, iconic Comic-Con uh, logo, as well as their 50th year branding on the box. But when you open, you are greeted with some goodies. And man, I think this is such a cool um, souvenir for those who had attended this event. You're given this 50th year pin. And of course on the box, you have the boys. If you haven't watched this on Amazon yet, I highly recommend it. It's pretty much about superheroes in real life. And when you take out the pamphlet, pretty much this pamphlet was used to go ahead and show you and give you directions on where to go and find things. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. And man, you guys look how big this is. Man. So if you guys have the chance to go see Comic-Con in person, I highly recommend it. Personally, I haven't seen it myself, but I had to make a trip out there in San Diego when I can. And for this particular year, Toucan was given a limited edition Pez, which looks like this. And of course, it's given the official Comic-Con sticker, limited edition, as well as their 50th year branding. Man, that's so cool. And for the official release of a Fungal Pop that year, you have a uh, Toucan number 53. And with this Toucan, this is Toucan with the Comic-Con shirt. And man, look how cool this little Funko Pop is. So once again, you have the official sticker as well as the 50th year branding and Toucan with this awesome Comic-Con shirt. What I really like about this design of the box is that they did incorporate some parts of San Diego. I believe this is the skyscraper lines um, in downtown San Diego, which I think is pretty cool. And this will be number 53. Fast forwarding to 2020, um, Comic Con did release three specials of Toucan, but what's really cool about these releases is that they were all given their own special rendition. So to start off the, the three Toucans, this is number 102, Superhero Toucan, and <laughs> you guys, wow. I think this is such a cool like little um, Funko piece of Toucan. I love how they gave him his little cape as well as his costume. Of course, Toucan, the awesome bird that he is, he's fighting crime in the cities. And look at the vibrant colors. So this does remind me of like a comic book, which I think is such a cool design. And of course, you get that um, official sticker of Comic-Con. For the second release, you have number 103, the Out of This World Toucan. <laughs> you guys, look, it's Toucan as an astronaut. So Toucan's saving the day, a regular guy, and he's traveling in space at the same time. And what's really cool is that you see Toucan's little helmet. I think that his helmet is too small for his head. But I think it's so cool that he's holding the Comic-Con flag in his white space jumpsuit. And what's really awesome is that, you know, this is, the design does expand out to the box. So you do get this spacey vibe or out of this world vibe. And look at Toucan on top of the moon with his little flag. I think he has to be wearing his helmet because I think there's no oxygen in space. But I think Toucan is just too awesome to wear a helmet. <laughs> And for the final Funko Pop, so you guys, I have to say, 
This Funko Pop is by far one of the or absolute exclusive Funko release in 2020 and Comic Con. So you would have to sell your soul to the Comic Con um, cult to get this Funko Pop. So pretty much the design behind this Funko Pop was to go ahead and help funding for the the Funko Museum. Yeah, or, Comic Con. Oh, excuse me, the Comic Con Museum. So to get this Funko Pop, you would have to be an upgrade tier member. The lowest price for entry was $500. So the price point to get this Funko Pop was $500, but it wasn't guaranteed that you would get this particular Funko Pop. But this is number 103, the infamous red toucan. <laughs> and you guys, look how incredible this Funko Pop is. Not only is this an exclusive pop, it is exclusive to 1,000 pieces. So you couldn't just get this pop. And it does come, of course, with that, bam, official museum exclusive sticker. And if you guys haven't already tell, this does look similar to Toucan 103. But the only difference, of course, is the red jumpsuit and the official branding too. And you guys, I'm so uh, excited to have this particular Funko Pop in the collection. I think this is such a one-of-one -one design. Of course, this is Comic-Con's um, first year or the release of the museum. So to have this Funko Pop in memory of, or commemoration of that opening or the museum, it's really cool. So this does complete my review of the two cans released this far uh, for Comic-Con. Who knows what's in store next for the upcoming Comic-Cons. I'm excited to see what they release. If you guys like this video, please go ahead and like and subscribe. This does give us a chance to grow and share our content with other creators. If you aren't already following us on Instagram and Facebook, we do post our Funko Adventures there. Until next time, I'm Pop Shavakadu. And I'll see you guys later. All right.